Thank you. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for meeting with me again today. It's so good to see you. Have you been working on those confidence exercises I showed you last week? Me too. I've got some more great stuff for you today. I believe if you ask any woman what qualities she wants in a man, you'll hear another very important component of confidence that I'll talk about in a moment. Honesty. I mentioned last week that confidence is a display of self-assurance. We worked on releasing the past through forgiveness, being proud of who we are right now, and committing to actions that will help us to be our best in the future. Don't stop working on those things because time will never stand still. There will always be a past to forgive and actions we can take to improve. In fact, I've got some more practical actions for you to take with me today. Remember, action is the key to success. There are several pieces in the confidence puzzle, and I think the one with the most significant impact is honesty. There are hundreds of famous quotes about honesty that validate this theory. Albert Einstein said, whoever is careless with the truth in small matters cannot be trusted with important matters. That really sums up why it is so important to always be honest from the very beginning of any relationship. I'll admit, there are many situations that seem easier if we just tell a little lie. Those truth tweaks and alternative facts might help us look more important, feel smarter, or avoid arguments. Fear and embarrassment climb up our skin like a dozen fuzzy bugs with prickly legs, and we brush away the consequences of whatever it was that we did by lying about it. For example, one day, Bob accidentally scraped his car door against a post he didn't see when he was leaving the gas station. He didn't want his wife, Marie, to think he was careless and be disappointed in him or say something to make him feel stupid, so he lied when she asked about it. He said it must have happened while he was shopping in the hardware store. Marie accepted Bob's excuse, mumbling about irresponsible people in parking lots as she walked away. Bob smiled a little because he just saw proof that lying is less painful and requires less courage than honesty. Avoidance of pain is a strong human motivator, so we quickly learn to tell those little lies if we think it will spare us from painful consequences, whether emotional or physical. But anytime we need to justify our actions, we already know we're doing something wrong. Making excuses may soothe our logical mind temporarily, but it doesn't do anything for the internal conflict that is created. When we deliberately lie, it violates our core ethics, erodes our values, and it can lead to self-sabotaging behavior. Bob lies to his wife about small things, like a dinged car door. He will either feel guilty, trip up and get caught, or he will begin to lie about bigger things, doing more damage to his relationship. What happens when Marie finds out that Bob lied to her? Let's get inside her head for a minute. I'll be Marie. Bob lied to me about scraping the car door. Why would he lie to me about something so insignificant? What else has he lied about? Why doesn't he trust me with the truth? You see, Marie is hurt, she feels disrespected, and she loses a little trust in Bob. She certainly doesn't think he's brave, confident, or attractive now. What a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Dishonesty is a dangerous road to travel, and it leads to broken trust, loneliness, and despair. Let's take the alternative road that leads to happiness and success in our relationships by developing the courage to be honest. Instead of Bob lying to Marie, let's try a new scenario. Bob arrives at home with a scrape on the car door. Marie asks him what happened. 
Bob tells her this, that he didn't see one of those posts at the gas station and scraped the car door on it. Bob admits it was stupid. He apologizes and says he'll get it fixed. Marie softens in understanding, forgives Bob, and tells him that he isn't stupid and that accidents happen to everybody. What happened here is that Bob gave Marie the gift of his vulnerability, and in doing so, he increased the intimacy of their relationship. And because Bob took responsibility for his mistake and apologized, Marie was free to understand, forgive, and let it go. Knowing that Bob was honest with her in something small proves to Marie that she can trust him in big things too. Being honest may not always be the easiest or most convenient path, but people of integrity will always recognize and appreciate your honesty and courage. Being honest requires courage because it makes us vulnerable and accountable. William Shakespeare wrote, This above all, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night the day thou canst not then be false to any man. Put another way, justifying dishonesty for any reason is the same as lying to ourselves. But if we're first honest with ourselves, we will find it easier to be honest with others. In the first example, Bob lied to himself when he lied to Marie. He told himself, it will be better to lie because if I don't, Marie will make me feel stupid. The truth was, Bob already felt stupid, and he told himself 20 times on the way home that he was stupid for damaging the car. Really though, Bob had just made a careless mistake because he was in a hurry, as we all do sometimes. He was lying to himself when he told himself he was stupid. We all lie to ourselves sometimes, usually through negative self-talk. Let's be courageous today and expose ourselves to the truth so we can continue to build that most attractive quality, confidence. Get out a notebook or some paper, a pencil and a pen, a red pen if you have it. Start with the pencil and write down a lie you've been telling yourself. I've got one. I can't make new friends. Leave a couple of blank lines and write another lie in pencil. How about, I don't have time to work out. Write down all the lies you can think of, leaving blank spaces in between. I'll give you a hint. These lies we tell ourselves usually have the words, I can't, in them. Use as much paper and time as you need. Then, pick up the pen and start writing the truth about the lie you wrote in pencil. Start with the first one. I can't make new friends. The truth is this, I can make new friends when I work at it. Move on to the next lie and write the truth. The lie is, I don't have time to work out. Write the truth below that. I can make time for anything that is important to me, including working out. Continue to write a truth for every lie you've written. Here's another hint. The truth usually shows that you always have a choice. Over the next week, read your list of lies and truths every day. When you associate them together, your brain will gradually replace each lie with the truth. At the end of the week, get out an eraser and begin to erase each lie you wrote in pencil as you read through your list. The best way to get a lie or any negative thought out of your head is to replace it with the truth or a positive thought. Replace all the I can't in your brain with I choose. Everybody has something they lie about, either to themselves or to others or both. When you expose lies and replace them with the truth, you will find a more positive, happy outlook and a life of integrity, courage, and confidence. As you write and read through your list throughout the coming week, Notice how you feel and let me know in the comments or send me a private message here on YouTube. Living a courageous, honest life will inspire others to trust you, listen to your words, and believe your promises. Not only that, but you will feel freer and more confident in the truth of who you are. I've got one more quote for you from Dr. Seuss. 
Be who you are and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. Please take a moment now and subscribe. I'll be uploading at least one video each week with occasional bonus videos. Post your comments below and let me know what you want to talk about in upcoming videos. Your questions and comments are important to me. Write to me and I'll answer your questions during my next video. Communication will keep this channel active and help us build a connected community. Thanks for meeting with me. I'll see you soon. Joe, can you freshen this up?